with uh, just with, just with the, the sort of jungle hardcore edge to it. Direct. This is Phil. I'm Phil from Source Direct. We're making drum and bass music for the next century. Is Check the rims. Here? We're 20 now, but yeah. um, we started getting involved in the scene when we were about, I don't know, 14 or 15, because I was listening to tunes at school and I was sort of the odd one out where I'd be into my techno and house and breakbeat, and like, other people were sort of into their pop sort of thing and their indie thing and it just wasn't me I was more into that sort of thing that no one was into I was always looking for that cutting edge like music so I was just into that a, a long time ago and then we started doing parties illegal parties in the area where we were living created a bit of a storm with the police and all that sort of thing we just used to like do our own thing we just used to like are you still in school now I kind of left school before the exams came round it was uh, had like a little nervous breakdown. I couldn't deal with being sitting in a class and someone tell me what to do all day, day in, day out. And I was completely not interested. I could read and write and I can add up and that's all I need to know. I sort of just started to smoke cannabis and sort of realised that, that the, whole, the whole college was just like a load of bollocks really. So I just sort of left, got involved heavily into music, which I was into before, but even more, even more deeply and then just met up with Jim and here we are. We started making tracks and uh, there was kind of like a funny sort of meeting with Rupert sort of in the past because he was actually uh, releasing a couple of tracks of Studio Pressure to which we had bought, you know, just in the previous months. It was like, fuck, you know, you're making these beats as well, same way. And he liked Goldie and all this. So we were like, well, you know what I mean? We know each other, it's like... So we sort of got on immediately, us two and Rupert, and you know, that's where our friendship... Oh. We had two BMW M3s. Dark um, <laughs> machines. Uh, we just like them because they're fast. I mean, you feel it. You, f you have that sort of superiority on the road. It's just fun. It's quite boring around here, really. At the end of the day, you've got your beats. Um, you know, you can you can take your drugs and whatnot. But again, that's constant hassle. And people know who you are with the police and whatnot because they definitely keep their eye on us. Definitely. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. Can we've you been, give an example? Uh, well, we've been done over quite a lot of times, been pulled over and completely searched and been followed and do you know what I mean the whole bollocks. It was police around the house the whole lot. Yeah. We feel in Hertfordshire. I mean, there's no clubs or anything that play the music we like. There's there's only a few things to do really. We feel that we just like to drive around in our fast cars. We make our beats. We like to chill in these sort of quiet country pubs. We like to see girls, and that's about it, really. There's not much else to do. It's quite boring, like the country of England. See, we have now entered the world of Jim and Phil. It's <laughs> our humble workplace. This is where we sit day in, day out, night in, night out. What's it like to, to have a studio uh, at your parents' house? Most of the time we work on headphones and we, had, we have had complaints, I mean even on the headphones because we do have them extremely loud because we like the sound. When we have the headphones on, we like the sound to like bury inside your brain. So it's just bashing your brain around your head and that's the way that we can really feel the drums because a lot of people say when they put a tune on in their bedroom one of ours and they're just like listening to it 
I mean, it doesn't have its real impact. But once you've got it at an extreme volume, because the tune is so squeezed and compressed, it, it just, it's like a, it makes your brain like a sponge and it's just like Can you show us? What, you want to hear it? Do you want to see me? Yeah. How loud I can take the headphones? Okay, mm -hmm. fine. Yes. Uh, it's quite difficult to like to find your own sound. You sort of you sort of search for it. You just like go back to your, like old influences, like all the old breakbeat that we've listened to, all different styles of like uh, jazz, like fusion jazz. Uh, inspired by anything else than just music, do, do you see any images in your head while you're making music? Well, you can't really you can't really describe an image that I would have. It's a feeling inside it, you, man. That's there that comes out through the music. Yeah. It's a feeling like when the music suddenly changes this way, it's like yeah, yeah. You made yourself feel it needs to go this way, and it kind of takes you there. And the music then forms itself around the way you want it to feel. And it's like yeah, you can have something that suddenly like bang, it's just there. It's just like do you know what I mean? It's fuck, yeah. Got that little shock there, and there's something you can hear in the background slowly creeping up, creeping up, creeping up, and then suddenly you start to focus in on that while the sounds are still going. And it plays tricks with you, do you know what I mean? And that's, that's your soul there, helping the listener listen and fucking go, shit, yeah, he's going this way, he's going this way. 